So I was wanting to draw some shapes and lines in Final Cut Pro X, but I couldn't find that much online or on YouTube, so I thought I'd just have a go myself. So what I'm going to do is make a new project, and I'm going to call it Shapes and Lines. It's probably just going to be one shape and one line, but that's enough to get us started. And let's make it HD, and I'm not particularly bothered about the frame rate, so... Uh, there we go, all ready to start. I'll start off by creating a solid. So if I go here, oh, I'm already there on solids. And I'll drag the custom solid down to the timeline. And I think I'll give it a colour. And I'll give it a nice blue. There we go, I like that blue. And now I'm going to make a shape out of it. I will go to the effects here, and uh, you can see I've prepared this already because a lot of the stuff is just in place, ready to go. So I'll go to Draw Mask, and I can add some control points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a right angle triangle, and I'll just click approximately down there, up there, down there, and close it off there. So I've got my approximate triangle, and you can see it is a shape but it's kind of like a, a rough and ready shape, and I probably want a nice precise shape. So I'm going to use the control points function here, these parameters. I need to start it off though by checking the transforms because I don't know why it does this, but it just does. I'll set that to zero and set that to zero. So that's going to give me some nice round numbers to play with. So I'm in HD, so the uh, frame is 1920 pixels wide and I've cancelled the transform so the zero points both X and Y are in the center. So half of 1920 is according to my arithmetic 960. So if I go to minus 960 that puts that point there right on the edge and I can bring the Y down to the bottom by putting minus 540 which is half of 1080 pixels. So you can see what's coming here. This one's going to be 960. This one's going to be 540. This one's going to be 960 again. And this one's going to be minus 540. And I've got a perfect right angle triangle. Hey, <laughs> wasn't that easy? Easier than Photoshop, I'm going to say, uh, to get it precise like that. Okay, let's make a line using the same kind of uh, logic. And I'll use that white solid down there, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to put the draw mask on it, and I'm going to make an approximate line. So we'll start there, over there, over there, over there, and close it off like that. So that's very approximate, but once again, we're going to tidy it up. So I'll set my transforms to zero and zero. I don't know why I have to do that, but it seems I have to. So I'm going to make this line four pixels high. So we'll go to, again, we've got minus 960. Point two is 960. Point three is 960. And point four is minus 960. So to get the height, um, I'm going to make this eight pixels high, eight pixels, so we can see it clearly. So we'll set this one to four this one to 4, this one to minus 4, and this one to minus 4. And I've got my beautiful line there, so I can just play my whole video now. <laughs> it's just a still. But well, there we go, we've got a, a lovely shape and a lovely line, and they're all very precise. Thank you for watching.